Hi, my name's Shelley Belcour, and if you have an online business, you need leads. And today's video is going to teach you how to set up a an advertisement on Twitter, which is really very simple and very, very effective, as you are going to see. So here I am on my home profile. Now, depending on uh, your profile, I haven't quite figured out how. You can, some people have the ad in, in here. If you just click on the settings button, you can see Twitter ad. Um, that doesn't happen on mine. I have to go to the advertise down here on the home page. So I just click advertise and that takes me to my campaign page. Now once I'm at my campaign page, the first time you come here you will need to put your credit card in so you can be charged and then you just go over to this blue button saying create new campaign. Now there are a couple of types of campaigns you can create. One is promoted tweets which you can, as you can see here, you write a tweet and then it gets promoted depending on a keyword and the second is a promoted account campaign which is basically getting people to follow you. Now they both have benefits and neither one's better than the other. There are, um, if you have followers then they are absolute potential leads, just people to learn from, people to talk to and that you have the same interest with and obviously promoted tweets you can uh, target keywords, target people in the industry. So I'm going to in this video do promoted tweets campaign. So I'll click on that and then you start with your campaign title. So I'm going to do this whole um, this whole ad as a demonstration. So as you can see when do you want this to uh, start immediately or you can customize the start and end dates. Now doing that means that if you if your avatar uh, is watching the computer at certain times of the day or if you want to split test days or times of the day then you can do that. Generally I just start it and, uh, and then go from there, split test from there. Now there are three types of targeting you can do. The first one is keywords the second is interests and followers and the third is television. So I, I will show you all three. Keywords is obviously you can have a keyword which is um, let's say home business and every time the home business uh, keyword uh, word gets put into um, anywhere on Twitter that would activate your ad to pop up on that person's uh, on the profile on where the weather looking so depending on whether you do a broad match which means a home business in any order in just in their tweet or a phrase match would mean the exact words together like that it has to say the home business together uh, a negative match means you anyone that doesn't say home business in their tweet and a negative phrase is home business in in that order in the tweet, so a little bit confusing, but uh, it does actually say um, out here what does it, the explanation is there what it does. So you can you can do multiple keywords here. You can import them using this button here. So if you've got a CSV file that you've saved from other advertising, you can just put it into there, and then you can put your countries. Now there's only four countries that. Twitter is currently advertising to the United Kingdom, United States, Canada and Ireland. So um, that would be you would choose that. So let me just put uh, let me just put the United Kingdom for this example. Okay, now you can get really targeted here, customize where tweets appear. So either the timelines or in the search results. That means so when they've put the the home business as we put up here, when they've put that in, then that will come up in their search results or if it's just used on their tweets, then it will come up on their timeline. So the next is um, what platforms. So you can get really, really targeted and a good way to do this is actually split test them. So you can, um, you can separate them out. So one ad you would do the iOS device, next one you do Android, et cetera, et cetera or you can just throw them all in together. Now, if you are, don't forget, you need to have a mobile optimized page if you're going to have it showing on your mobile site. 
Now, if you're targeting um, anybody, there's any gender, or you might your particular offer, or your um, company, or you just may want to meet the, the males or females, so you can select that. And then it says we'll promote up to five of your most engaging tweets, or you manually select. Now, if you manually select, then you, you can come down, you can choose any of your previous tweets, as you can see here, they've done your the recent five. Or if you're promoting a tweet, you'd most often come here and do, so a, a headline, um, and again, I'm just going to do demo, <laughs> which is um, not the least bit exciting. So... Um, And clearly, I'm not going to actually start this. <laughs> How to set up your Twitter ads. OK. So as you can see here, there's 103 characters. Now, don't forget, you would normally want to be putting a link in there. And then um, engagement is also improved if you put an image. Now, um, depending on the size of your image, it will take up character space. So if you were going to put an image, make sure it's quite small. Um, and then, because otherwise, it will reduce the amount of words that you can put in there. OK, so. Um, and then just click on that limited delivery tweet. And what will happen is that won't actually show in your timeline of tweets. Select that and it says one currently promoted, which was that demo here. So now the next thing is your budget. You can do whatever it is. This is budget in US dollars, depending on where your account's set up. So I'm just going to put a fiver there. And then that's a, that's a total budget. So... What you can do is you can set up a total budget for your campaign and then you can break it down into a daily amount. So let's say let's say I want that to run over the week. So I want it to do it one dollar a day. Now the suggested bid will has come up between one fifty and two dollars twenty. That doesn't you don't have to listen to that because let's say I mean this is this example doesn't really make sense. Um, if it's a dollar that I may just get one tweet out of this campaign per day. I uh, want one showing of my tweet, but this is a this is a demonstration. Now, what will happen is that it won't necessarily charge you the one dollar every time that it delivers your tweet, but it will not charge you more than one dollar. So sometimes you can you'll find that you've got that and you'll only be charged a few cents, which makes it was really nice. So then you just save and review. Once you do that, it'll just, um, actually it says no, key, no keyword sent for some reason. Oh, okay, because I hadn't I hadn't clicked enter. Okay, so you had to put the, it, select enter once you've put your keyword in there. Okay, so then if I send and review it. So that before you launch it, so it just, it just gives you a summary up here. Um, it's a promoted tweet targeting keywords and using the keyword and you can go in here and review them one location one tweet your total budget here and your maximum spend a day now um, i said i was going to show you these other options here so if i just click on that review the edit button there for the targeting you can target interests and followers so you can actually target leaders in the industry or in your niche and so for example um, Let's target Evan Pagan, who is a well-known guy in the home business niche. So what will happen is that you can you can target up to as many as you like. And then you're over here, it'll give you an estimated budget audience size, um, which has come up with zero for now. I'm not quite sure why. But let's say you wanted to do a um, couple more. Let's say Robert Kiyosaki and... Um, so you can just write it there and, oops, yeah, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, he doesn't appear to have a type of Twitter, so, um, Ryan Dice, so you click on Ryan Dice and then your um, estimated audience size will go up um, 
as you add them. So let's say Jonathan Bard add a couple more. I'm not quite sure why that's saying zero, to be honest, because these guys clearly have lots of followers. It will um, throw us up a big number soon enough. I mean, 20k, you don't, you don't actually want that too big because, um, as you know, when you advertise too much, your, you, your um, audience is too big. And then you can't, you're up. with the ad spend particularly that small, you don't want to have it too big. <laughs> okay, so here you can select here whether you want to target your followers or not. So you can make that decision and also target people like your followers. Okay, so you can either select that or deselect it depending on what you'd want. Obviously, you'd probably, well, most, most likely you'd want to have that added. Now, on top of that, you can also put an interest category in here, which is similar to the keyword, but it's not an actual keyword. So it's um, home business. Let's put marketing. Uh, online, it doesn't like. Let's just try marketing. So you can put, you can select that in there. Now that's going to put this number much higher as you see. So these are targeting an audience who are interested in marketing, Jonathan Bard, Evan Pagan and Ryan Dice. And so basically you get the idea I'm sure. You can put in as many or as few. You might want to split these guys out into individual campaigns to see which one is working the best. Now if you go back up and you can also select the television so by selecting television, then you can choose the market, United Kingdom, United States. I'll just carry on with the United Kingdom. And then you can actually choose a television show over there. So um, Downton Abbey is very popular over there at the moment. And so you could select that. And, and this would be people that are in your particular niche who would be watching particularly those, those shows that you're selecting. And... They are the people that this your tweet will be shown to. Okay, and again, same thing. You just save and review, although I don't think I've set that up properly. Yeah, no locations, but... And then you would just click, once that is set, you would just click through to launch campaign, which clearly I'm not going to launch this because it's not set up correctly. This is just for a demo. Um, and once that is, then you can go back into your campaigns... And you can actually see how your campaign's getting on. Now this, um, when, it, when you see here this exhausted, that means that that has met the budget that I set, that amount has passed, okay? And then it will tell you, so this is the, the name that you've set for it, and then it'll just tell you how many impressions you got, how many clicks, and what is your engagement rate. So as you can see, um, it also um, shows it in a graph, and then it will show your, your over overall totals for the ads you've got showing and you can change this for um, particular days up here as well. So there's a there's a lot of functionality within this and it's a really good way to to access leads. These are people you can communicate directly to and it's uh, a really nice personal way to advertise. So I hope that's helped. Now, if you want um, more in-depth training than what I've just given you today, that where it goes in behind the psychology, how you can improve your tweets, how you can improve your visibility, and tons of other methods as well, then I do invite you to have a look at the training given in my internet traffic system, um, which the link is below in the description here. And I do invite you to have a look through. That's the training that I have done. And like I said, it goes much further in depth. Um, it shows you entirely how to set up psychology, um, the do's and don'ts, what to do, what to say in your tweets, and what keywords to use. So if you'd like to look further into this, um, just as an, as an alternative to add to your marketing, then I encourage you, click on the link below. And um, otherwise... I mean that what I've just shown you is a the good basics how to get started. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day. My name is Shelley Belcour.